Hello, my name is Roman Demchenko from the One Identity Support Team. In this video, I will be covering the basic steps to migrate Identity Manager to version 8. In addition to any migration plan already in place, the below steps will be used. First, let's back up the schedules, then disable the schedules so they don't interfere with the upgrade. To back up the schedules, open Object Browser or SQL Management Studio. In Object Browser, select SQL, New SQL Window. Use the command select start into CCC dialog schedule from dialog schedule and press F5 to execute. Next, we need to disable schedules so they don't interfere with the upgrade. To do this, use the query update dialog schedule set enabled equals zero, where enabled equals one, and press F5 to execute. If using a history database, we need to disable the history database import schedule. To do this, open the history database designer. Select edit schedules and ensure that the import process information directly schedule is not enabled. We'll uncheck enabled and then we're just going to commit those changes to the database. Next, we need to verify that all front ends are closed, except job queue info, job services, and SQL front ends. To do this, we're going to go and open SQL Management Studio and open the Activity Monitor. We're going to filter so that only Identity Manager database connections are shown. As mentioned, you want to make sure that only connections open from the job queue info, job services, and SQL front ends are there. Now we need to wait for the job queue and DB queue to clear out. If there are processing, pending, or frozen jobs, they will need to be taken care of before continuing. Once clear, we can move to the next step. Now it's time to stop the job services and job queue info utility. Once the job queue info utility is closed, on each server running the job service, open services and stop the identity manager job service. Before moving forward, it's best to make sure that no services are overlooked and that their connections are closed. So we'll double check that in SQL Management Studio. Finally, Let's create a full backup of your Identity Manager database. So in SQL Management Studio, we'll locate our Identity Manager database and open up the task Backup. When starting your backup, ensure the backup type is full and click OK. It's now time to migrate to Identity Manager version 8. Before continuing, we need to change the database compatibility level. Open SQL Management Studio and view the properties of your database. Go to the Options tab and change the compatibility level to SQL Server 2016. Click OK and close SQL Management Studio. Please note, in order for the front end tools to automatically update from version 703-712 to version 8 using the automatic software update, additional DLLs will need to be downloaded and applied before migrating the database. Also, these files are not required for or used in the migration itself. More information can be found in the support portal at https colon forward slash forward slash support dot one identity dot com forward slash kb forward slash sol 234305. First, we need to manually upgrade the master SQL server. So let's manually install one identity manager from the auto run on the master SQL server. We'll only update the server components since that's all that's installed. To start the migration, open the auto run and use the One Identity Manager installer. 
follow the wizard, and select the appropriate machine roles to be upgraded on the server. Once the setup is complete, run the configuration wizard. As this is a migration, use the Upgrade Database option. After confirming that a backup has been created, click Next. It's very important to note that for the video, this migration process has been sped up for time. This process can take a very long time, depending on the size of the Identity Manager database and the database server performance. During the migration, you'll be prompted to log in with the system user. Now the migration is complete, it's time to restart the job services. On each server running the Identity Manager service, locate and then start the One Identity Manager service. Next, open the Job Queue Info utility and wait for the DB queue to clear. Updates may be required when launching the Identity Manager tools for the first time after the migration. Again, in the interest of time, the process of upgrading and DBQ processing has been sped up. Depending on your environment and the resources on your database server, this could take a while to complete. The last step is to re-enable the schedules. Open up Object Browser, and then a new SQL query window. Use the query Update Dialog Schedule, set Enabled equals 1, where UID underscore Dialog Schedule in Select UID underscore Dialog Schedule from CCC underscore Dialog Schedule, where Enabled equals 1. Now to delete the backup table, run drop table ccc underscore dialog schedule. Lastly, to make sure the migration completed successfully, open up Manager and we'll verify the version from the Help and Info page. This completes the video. To learn more about Identity Manager, visit support.oneidentity.com.